six, I was molested by my mum's friend who was at the house a lot. So my mum was an alcoholic. Uh, in football, the tradition is that players have their last names on the back of their shirts. But it's only a tradition. It's not mandatory. You can use whatever name you want on the back of your shirt. For different reasons, different players have opted to use a different name on their jerseys. And we want to investigate that today. Who are some of the guys that have done this? Why did they do that? When did they start doing that? We will answer all those questions and more in this video today. Spoiler, there's more than one current Liverpool player on this list. Can you guess who they are? Leave your guesses in the comments. We'll see if you're right later. But let's start with the Leicester City captain, Jamie Vardy. What you see at the back of his shirt is Vardy. But did you know that's not the last name he was born with? The Leicester City striker was born Jamie Gill. But when he was still a baby, his father walked out on him and his mother leaving him traumatized and resenting his dad. His mother would later get married again to a man named Phil Vardy. So, not wanting to have anything to do with his biological dad, Jamie decided to dump his father's last name and adopt that of his stepfather. Since then, he's gone by Jamie Richard Vardy, and the name Gill is now a thing of the past. Now, Memphis Depay's case is similar in the sense that his dad also walked out on him and his family when he was just four years old. But the former Barcelona man did not change his last name, he only stopped using it at the back of his shirt. He made this decision in 2012, famously saying, don't call me Depay, call me Memphis. And ever since then, he's used his first name on the back of his shirt. However, the Netherlands International has since said that he's begun to repair his relationship with his father, leading him to often visit his father's home country of Ghana to try and connect with his roots. But he's still not switching back to his dad's name on his shirt. He recently just got unveiled as a new Corinthians player, and he still has Memphis displayed on the back. Surely that's how it'll be until he retires. And the same can be said for his international teammate Virgil van Dijk. His last name is Van Dyke, but on the back of his shirt is Virgil. Why? Because when he was just 11 years old, his dad walked out on him and his mother. Not long after that, the defender cut off ties with his dad completely, which led him to use his first name on his shirts. The Liverpool man has abstained from talking about what exactly went on with him and his dad. He said it's nobody's business, but he made it clear that his dad is no longer in his life, so I guess that explains it. Now, the other Liverpool man who doesn't use his parents' name behind his shirt didn't make that decision because of abandonment or any family issues. No, not at all. He did it for a whole different and very interesting reason. We'll get to that shortly. But first, if you're enjoying this video, take a second to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, just before we talk about that current Liverpool player, let's look at a former one, Mario Balotelli. Iconic name, right? But what if we told you that that wasn't his birth name? The Italian striker was born Mario Barua to Ghanaian immigrants in Palermo, Italy. But why does he now go by Balotelli? Well, here's the story. When he was three years old, his biological parents put him up for foster care because they could not afford to pay for his health care. And what's the family name of the foster parents who took him in? Yep, you guessed right, Balotelli. In the beginning, Mario was only with the Balotellis on weekdays and would go back to his family on weekends, but things slowly began to change. Eventually, he was being fostered permanently by the Balotellis, and it didn't take him much longer after then to adopt their last name. When he started to play football, he'd fully transitioned from Mario Barua to Mario Balotelli. So, he just used Balotelli on the back of his shirt and has not looked back since. Okay, now let's talk about that current Liverpool player. Did you guess Diogo Jota? If you did, then you're correct. If we told you to guess what name the attacker has on the back of his shirt, you'd probably say Jota, but that's wrong. The name on his shirt is Diogo J. It doesn't register in your head at first, but now that we've pointed it out to you, we're sure you'll begin to notice it. As we said, the reason for this is really interesting. This guy's birth name is Diogo José La Silva, but because other players went by the names Diogo and Silva in the academy, he decided to adopt Jota so that he could be easily distinguished. 
What does Jota mean? It's the Portuguese pronunciation of the letter J. And the J, of course, stands for Jose, his middle name. So when you look at the back of his shirt, you would say Diogo J. But the Portuguese would say Diogo Jota. Isn't that interesting? Another interesting one is James Rodriguez. The Colombian national team captain has always had his first name on the back of his jersey. His parents split up when he was a kid, but we're not so sure that's the reason for his decision. Some people say it's because the name James is more commercial than Rodriguez. Some others say it's because he knew that James would be an easier name to pronounce for non-Spanish-speaking folks. Which of these theories is correct? Well, I guess we'll never know. All we know is that the former Real Madrid man does not use his parents' name on the back of his shirt. In fact, he never did at any point, unlike Deli Ali. You see, Deli started out using Ali at the back of his shirt, but ahead of the 2016-17 season, while he was playing for Spurs, he decided to switch to his first name. He was 20 years old at the time. His reason for this decision? According to him, he did that because he no longer felt any connection with his birth parents, and as a result, the name. The story of Delhi and his family is a long and complicated one. According to the player himself, he was sent to Nigeria, his father's home country, as a form of discipline when he was nine years old. And not long after he came back to the UK, he moved in with the family of one of his MK Don's teammates, because his mother was an alcoholic and could not take care of him. On The Overlap, he talked about how he was sexually abused at the age of six by an acquaintance of his mother and started to deal in drugs at eight. All of this led him to eventually cut his parents off completely and stop using their names on his shirt. But interestingly, his parents have since come out to debunk a lot of these accounts. His mum insists that she is clean, and his dad says that he has a good relationship with his son, and he even lived like a prince during his time in Nigeria. The whole thing is just super complicated and messy, but whatever the truth is, what we know for sure is that Delhi does not want to have anything to do with his birth parents' name. Now, this next one is a double package because we're talking about a pair of brothers, Lucas and Teo Hernandez. These guys are sons of ex-footballer Jean-Francois Hernandez, who just up and disappeared one day in 2004, walking out on his sons and his entire family. In 2018, Lucas revealed that neither he nor his brother had seen or spoken to their dad in 12 years. And then in 2022, L'Equipe discovered that Jean-Francois was living in Thailand. Reports say that he tried to re-establish contact with his sons, but their mother did not let that happen. She even legally stopped it from happening. Now, because of his disappearance, the boys understandably have no connection with their father, leading them to go by their first names. To date, Teo still has his first name on the back of his shirt in Milan, but with Lucas, things took a turn. He started out having Lucas at the back of his shirt when he was at Atletico, but he soon switched to Hernandez after moving to Bayern, and he's continued with that after moving to PSG in 2023. Does that mean he's made peace with his father? Who knows? In the France national team, though, both brothers go by their last names, but they have the initials of their first names to differentiate them. So, Teo has T. Hernandez behind his shirt, while Lucas goes by L. Hernandez. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Another guy who doesn't use his parents' name on the back of his jersey is the legend Sergio Busquets. If you're very observant, you'd have noticed that he's always used his first name Sergio on his shirt, since he broke out from the Barcelona Academy. As far as we know, he and his parents are cool and there are no troubles at home. Maybe he just did this to set himself apart from his dad Carles Busquets, who also played for Barcelona. Another former Barcelona man who belongs on this list is Alexis Sanchez. The Chilean attacker started out using Sanchez on his shirt, but following his big move from Udinese to Barcelona in 2011, he decided to switch to his first name, Alexis. Why did he do this? Honestly, we can't say for sure. Maybe he thought that going to Spain, there would be a lot of people who went by the name Sanchez, so he decided to stand out by going by his first name. If you know exactly why the former Arsenal man made this decision, feel free to educate us in the comments. We'd love to know. Anyway, some more players who don't go by their parents' names on their shirts are Saul Niguez. In fact, in his case, jersey aside, he's commonly addressed by his first name alone. 
Maybe he's just following in the footsteps of his father, Borea, who also played professional football and almost always went by just Borea. Another footballer who was like this was Yakubu Ayagbeni. The man is simply known as Yakubu, or the Yak. He had his first name on his jersey throughout his playing career. Are there any more players you know of who don't use their parents' names on their shirts? Tell us in the comments, and if you know why they made that decision, feel free to share as well. By the way, we intentionally avoided Brazilian players because a lot of them go by nicknames. From Pele to Ronaldinho to Hulk to Kaka and even down to Savinho these days. We could even make a list of 10 Brazilian players who don't or didn't use their actual birth names on their jerseys. Now, these name changes have revealed some interesting things about these players and their backgrounds. But if you want to hear some shocking stories about the upbringing of some of your favorite footballers, watch our video, 8 Footballers with Surprising Upbringings You Didn't Know About. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.